Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to talk about tire pressure monitoring and TPMS sensors. Now my FJ Cruiser has built-in TPMS sensors inside of the tires. If you're not familiar with the icon, it is this yellow thing with the exclamation mark on it. That's it right there. So for whatever reason, your air tire pressure is low, then you'll see that light come on. But there's one thing that I've always wanted to try ever since I upgraded my FJ Cruiser's head unit. And it was these external TPMS sensors that you can just place on your tires in place of the wheel caps. So currently, whenever I check my tire pressure, I use this old school tire gauge. And what you do is you basically take off the valve cap and you stick this on there. There's a little gauge at the end that comes out and it tells you the PSI on your tire. So uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all four tires now. I've got the tire gauge here. I'm gonna undo the valve cap. Stick the gauge in. And what happens is this little gauge comes out and it tells you the reading. So here, here's my PSI. Let's go ahead and check the rear tire. And I'm just going to do the same thing on all four tires here. And that pops up. Let's see if I can see the reading there. There it is. Going around to the rear passenger side tire. Alright, now moving on to the final tire. Reset that, stick it in. Check my reading. All right, so I would say they're all above 35. They're like probably 37 or so. So that's a nice, quick, little, easy way to just check your tire pressure, just to have this little gauge around. Um, I keep this in my glove box all the time with me. And it's super handy, it's super easy, and it takes less than a minute to do all four tires, just to make sure that your tire pressure is always good. Most people will have something like this in their car, and if you don't, uh, this is definitely highly recommended. Um, however, as I mentioned before, once I upgraded my head unit, I was very curious to see this external tire pressure monitor system. And one of the things that piqued my interest was when I was playing around with the back end of my head unit, I was able to see a TPMS option that you can turn on. So here's my head unit screen. If I go into settings, I can go into the factory settings here and kind of play around with the back end options here. If you go to app here, there is a setting here for TPMS, right? Originally the default was set to no, but I turned it on, I selected one of these things and uh, I had it selected. So when I, when I went back to my apps list, there was a TPMS app right here. And if you click on it, it shows it's possible to monitor your tire pressure with some kind of sensor. Um, so that got me thinking. I thought it would be kind of cool just to have like a built-in TPMS monitor system on my head unit instead of just having to do the old tire gauge here, which is fine. But I just wanted to try it out and see if it works. So um, there are a handful of external sensors that you can find online and they all kind of range in prices. I've seen them anywhere from like $25 to like 80 but they all essentially do the same thing this is the one that i purchased and i paid 54 dollars for this on amazon um, as i mentioned before there are quite a few different models out there and versions they all kind of vary in price like i mentioned um, i did find one version on aliexpress that had five sensors so four for your your regular tires and one for your spare and i have to say that Finding one with five sensors is not easy to find. Um, most of the ones that you'll find if you look them up online are just going to have four sensors. So this one here happens to be the Jansight tire pressure monitoring system. I do believe that these are all kind of the same. If you look at the photos of the software and the hardware on these things, they all have the same interface as you'll see. I'll show it to you in a second. But when you open up the box, you get your instruction manual. This is a receiver. Right, and then you have four external tire pressure monitors. 
It comes with a USB stick with the software. It comes with a bag of uh, 3M two-way tape. There's a little wrench in there and a couple of, of nuts. Uh, these are anti-theft nuts. So basically you just take off all the, the valve caps like I did before and you install these in their appropriate spots. RL stands for rear left. This is rear right, front left, and of course this is front right. So you would install these on your um, in place of your wheel caps and plug this into your Android head unit as a USB receiver and the signal gets received here it gets transmitted onto your head unit and then you can see your tire pressure in real time which is kind of a cool idea so in my curiosity knowing that i have this tpms app built in i've always kind of wanted to try to see if uh, buying one of these external tpms sensor units would work with the software so i'm going to go ahead and uh, install these on the appropriate wheels and then plug this into a USB port that connects to my head unit and then we'll see if it works. First up is the front left FL so I'm going to go ahead and just twist this on. I do realize that there is an anti-theft nut and a wrench in there. So what you would normally do is you would put the uh, the nut over the valve. You would screw the sensor on. And then you would take the wrench and tighten the nut around the sensor so as to prevent theft of these things. But this one here is the RR, rear right. Final one is the FR for front right. All right, now they're all on. I'm gonna go back in the car. So now that the wheel sensors are on, I'm gonna plug in this receiver into my USB port here. All right, so it's plugged in, it's connected. And what I want to see is whether or not this thing can read this. So right off the bat, it, it recognizes that something's plugged in. I do have the Torque app and it's asking me um, whether or not I want to open this with Torque. I do not. I want the TPMS app. And so it doesn't look like anything's happening. There's no, there's no way that I can tell that I can connect the sensors with this application. So that doesn't work with the built-in TPMS app. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and use the supplied USB, which has the software on it, and then I'm just gonna plug it in. So I'm gonna open up my USB input. Now this is my second USB input to the head unit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if uh, I can install it through here. And there's an APK installer, which is the app installer. Install, I'm looking for this drive, which it's not reading right now. Uh, I can tell something is definitely not right because that keeps blinking. So, doesn't seem to be reading it. Okay, well, this is a flash drive of mine that I put my music on. And I'm just going to plug it in just to make sure that I uh, that my port is working. Okay. See that my light on my USB drive is on. It's blinking, and I do have music, so that's working. I know that it's not my USB port. It must be the drive. So let me just go back into apps, APK installer. Let me see install. Okay, it did recognize my USB one memory stick, so. Um, that's good. So something is definitely wrong with the supplied USB. I'm going to go into my computer. I'm going to plug this in, see if I can get that to mount. Then I will, uh, you know, copy the application onto my desktop. Then I'll transfer it over to the USB stick here, and then I'll install it from there. So I'll be right back, guys, and uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can get this installed. All right, I'm back. So I was able to successfully 
plug this into my computer and uh, transfer the software over to this flash drive, which now is able to be read by my head unit. I'm going to look here and I created the folder USB TPMS and the application is there. So I'm going to click on it and it says, do you want to install this application? Yes. Install. Okay, that was fast. That took like, uh, you know, less than 10 seconds. Okay, so now that it's installed, I'm going to, uh, let's just open it here. So it says TPMS tire pressure is properly. All right, so that means it seems like it's working. Allow TPMS to access USB serial, yes. Uh, clear and in information read failed. Let's see, okay. Okay, so it's here, it's, it's asking me to display over other apps. I'm looking for the application that I just installed, and there it is. So this is the previous one from my head unit, and this is the TPMS one that I just installed. It says not allowed, so let's allow it. Boom. All right. Now it's allowed. Let's go out and see if we can find the app. There it is. Okay, so here's the app and it looks like it's reading it's got some readings here uh, let me see if i can change the um, settings to read in psi so pop-up alarm sure sure let's leave all this temperature type let's turn it to fahrenheit since we're here in the united states um, type uh, pressure type bar i want uh let's go psi here we go we're at psi low battery alarm sure abnormal connection alarm sure let's leave all that here um, display spare tire data uh, that's currently off i don't have a fifth sensor for that data so all right so here's the version information i'm just going to click out of there and then here we go so here we are it's reading uh 37.9 psi on the uh front left and you can kind of see these readings so yeah it looks to be pretty accurate here so they're reading about 37 38 here it is a little bit of a warmer day here so i expected the psi to be up a little bit but it's kind of cool i wasn't expecting it to be very accurate but it looks to be reading pretty well i'm going to go ahead and go back in here and see if i turn on that spare tire data so display spare tire data if i turn it on it's it's actually showing a, a reading here. Um, I don't know how. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I clearly don't have a fifth sensor for my spare tire, and it's showing something there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have this system installed, then let me know uh, if you have a spare monitor as well. And if not, then uh, does yours read some random number? Because... I don't know. I don't know how it calculates that because clearly the other four are reading the PSI and the temperature actually from the tire. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and remove one of these sensors. Um, since the front side left is closest to me, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and see what happens here on the sensor. Okay, so now it's showing abnormal tire pressure. It's showing this is red now, and it says leaking low pressure. That's because I have the sensor right here in my hands and it's no longer reading. So it's definitely reading what it should be reading, and it knows that it's not connected, so that's kind of cool. So here's another warning, FL front left tire, low pressure. So that's uh, it's a really, really uh, big uh, warning there. Um, it definitely wants me to know that uh, something is going on with my front left tire pressure, which is uh, it's kind of cool. So here we have an option here. Don't display the same warning for the single tire. You have options. Um, I'm just going to, you know, let's just leave it here in 10 minutes. So the cool thing about this head unit is I can now program um, any of these like hotkey buttons to launch the app. So right now I have this to be uh, a streaming. I'm going to go ahead and just click and hold. 
and I can change these things. Like if I want to make this a um, TPMS, there it is. There's a TPMS option for the icon. I'll set it at that. And now I can change the name. Right now it says stream, so I will change it to read TPMS. Now I can launch the app or I select the app that I want to launch. And now I want to select TPMS. Now I can close it. Now we have TPMS here. So if I ever wanted to uh, read the tire pressure on my car without having to get out of the car, pull out the tire gauge, uh, take off all the valve caps, I would just select that. It would launch and show me my tire pressure at a glance, which is really, really cool. So that's super convenient. Um, I guess there's a high temperature alarm if you if you set uh, certain parameters for the alarm to go off whenever your tires get too hot, you can do that. Um, there's a temperature type like I mentioned before. Um, uh, you can set uh, an alarm to go off if there's if the pressure is too high. Right now the default is set to 45 psi. Uh, low pressure, you, it's defaulted to 26. You can set all these things to let you know whether or not these uh, conditions are met. So, so one other thing I wanted to check is just to see what this audible alarm sounds like. So you can see that there's these uh, battery icons and also these, uh, I guess, sound icons as well. So I'm going to go into TPMS setup and I see that the pop-up alarm is on, which is that big strip of uh, notification whenever something is wrong with your tire. There's a sound alarm as well, which uh, is on. So I'm going to see if I can try to trigger this sound alarm and see what it sounds like and see where it comes from. So that's on. Um, I'm going to set the um, uh, low pressure alarm to maybe read uh, if it dips below 32. So let's leave it at that. And then I'm going to deflate one of my tires and uh, let's see if we can get this alarm to sound. So I'm just going to unscrew this a little bit and let some air out. So I can see it's going down now. It's down to 35.8. So just to kind of speed things along, I just raised the barometer here. And the chime is coming through through my speaker. So that's what it sounds like. You can't miss it. So you've got the um, you got the notification here, and then you got the audible chime. It does continue on until you hit the X, which is it's a good thing because it, you don't really want to continue driving with low tire pressure. So you're able to see the pop-up alarm and the sound alarm. It doesn't sound as bad as I expected it to sound. One other cool thing about this is that it does show above all of the other applications so that if something is wrong, you really can't miss it. So if you've got like the radio on, Learn how. you'll At still see it, right? If I've got, From the exergen, temporal... I don't know if, I've, if I'm in my phone app, you'll still see it. All right, so I've just inflated all four tires. Let's open up the TPMS app. Should be reading my tire pressure on all four. Uh oh, this is interesting. failed. What's going on here? Alright, let's exit out of all this. Well, this is an interesting wrinkle. Everything was working just fine. I'll just shut the car off. Start this all over. All right, so I just shut it off and turned it back on. It says TPMS 
tire pressure is properly, which is a good sign. Let's go back in there. Okay, so there it is. All right. Uh, yeah, that was strange. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but uh, I basically turned the car off, turned it back on, restarted the app again, and here we are. The readings are uh, right around what I expected them to be. They were just under 40 PSI. Um, everything looks to be normal. Uh, I will say now that you see the temperature difference here. There's It's 80 degrees over here, 87 over here, and then on the left side, it's 68 and 68. You can see... Um, the sun, if I, if I step outside, the sun is hitting the car directly on the right side. So on this side, we got shade. And then on the other side, we got direct sunlight. So I did notice that whenever I was inflating the tires on this side, I was getting hit on the back by the sun. It's pretty hot, especially with the white reflection. So you can see my shadow, the sun is coming from behind me. This side is getting hit by the sun, so the temperature naturally is higher on these tires. My FJ is peeking out of the garage, so that rear right tire is getting hit with more sunlight, so it's at 87 degrees. And then this other one, this front uh, front right, was sort of hiding away inside of the garage for most of the time, so it's a little bit cooler than the other one, so that uh, looks to be pretty accurate. I just wanted to review, and um, one of the first questions that I had was, if I have an existing TPMS sensor in my tires, will this still work? The answer is yes. Um, clearly these are external and they are reading it just fine. Um, the internal TPMS sensors are still working as well. So um, I imagine that if I got a flat tire, or if my pressure was low, I would still see the yellow warning light on my dashboard on top of uh, seeing the um, the warning on the screen here on the app. Um, is it worth it? Um, I don't know. It depends on uh, what you think is uh, convenient for you. So for me, as I mentioned before, I, I do this all the time. I have this gauge here, you know, it doesn't cost much and I keep it with me all the time. And uh, it takes less than a minute to do it, but I can't argue with the convenience factor of the external TPMS monitoring system. It's really quick just to kind of see at a glance whether or not your tire pressure is the right pressure without having to get out of your car and unscrew all four caps to see whether or not your tire pressure is up to par. So that in itself is, you know, it's a nice convenience factor that you may consider. But for most of us, uh, having something like this is just fine. Uh, depending on how often you feel that you're going to use it, it may or may not be a good investment for you. If you've got an Android head unit with any type of USB input, it should be good to go. That's it. I just want to give you guys a look at that TPMS unit. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, it may not be for everybody. It may not be worth your time or money, but it does offer a little bit of convenience. I, I do find it kind of cool to be able to just kind of flip to the, uh, the app here and see if everything's all good with my tires. So it might save you the trouble of getting out of your car and doing this process with the uh, old school tire gauge. But, uh, you know, for most of you, I think this will be fine. For uh, for others, uh, this thing might be kind of a cool option to have. So I hope that was informative for everybody. Um, if you like what you see, um, feel free to give me a like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.